just locations. So thank you so much. You're on the board here for the college as well, right? So yeah, no, appreciate appreciate everything you did to help make this possible. And at this moment, um, I'm going to have a couple people come up and speak before we break out. And, and first, I'd like to invite up for a few words to kick us off. Uh, Matt Watkins, he's the manager of the Veterans Affairs and Success Center here at Palm Beach State College. So thank you for being a gracious host, and we love for you. Chasing down some bad people that need to be chased down in harm's way. You know 
this group, and they are sons and daughters and nieces and nephews and, you know, native Floridians and the whole rest of the country too. But the point is, sometimes, myself included, we, we get stuck in the now, you know, and our own mortgages and tuition payments and all that other stuff. You know, but when it comes right back, these kids, and I mean that with affection, I truly don't mean that with any kind of malice, these young men and women, um, they've spent more time in Baghdad than they have in Boca. You know, they have, they, the beach that they come back to in Florida will be different next month, next year, three years from now, one enlistment from that, one career away, it's gonna be completely different. And that's life, I mean, that's how it all goes. But that whole idea of them coming back to this transition, this new life back in, in Florida at home is incredibly tough. People ask me all the time, and I'm sure they ask you, what's transition like? I've been retired for 11 years, and I'm like, it's hard. I mean, it's not like picking a buddy off the battlefield hard, but it's hard because it's all new, and there's no playbook, and there's no handrails, and there's no one that can walk most of us through, myself especially, these processes, and whatever it is, whatever discipline we're talking about that affects veterans, there's no one to do it. And this is, let's face it, a culture of people that are typical of saying, I can do it myself. I'll put it on a rucksack, put my head down, and I'll walk forward. And I just bring this all up to the crescendo here before I shut up and get out of the way, is that you know, we got two things we have to do, again, across the whole spectrum. You know, one, we gotta make it really easy. We gotta make it ever's been proof, like in crayon, kind of easy. We can't make any assumptions. And we really have two things we gotta clearly focus on. We gotta focus on the now, all of our men and women that are, are, are out in this world, and the future ones come back. So it's a two-fold, two-prong operation for this Jesotif, if I can remember my doctrine correctly. And all I can say is I'm, I'm pleased to be here. I'm excited that, uh, uh, to learn a little more. I've been here for five years, so I'm still trying to figure it out. But uh, we're blessed to be here, and we're, we're blessed with this charge of providing a good future and a safe drop zone for these young men and women. So that's my, my story I'm sticking to, folks. Thank you for, for saying yes and for, for coming out today. And uh, Director, thank you for, for having me. And, and just God bless you all. Let's have a great day. So. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for your service. Thank you for being here. It means a lot. It adds a whole lot of value to what we're doing. So without further ado, what you do here is going to be culminating in a report that we're going to issue from our agency on every topic that we address. And it's going to go to the governor, it's going to go to the entire cabinet, it's going to go to the Senate, the House, and we're going to try to turn these ideas into action when it comes to the next legislative cycle. So what you're doing is not in vain. We need you. Thank you for being here. Good luck. Good work. We appreciate it. I'm going to call up now our Deputy Executive Director, who is Major General Retired, James Hammer Hartzell in the Marine Corps. So give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Get out the order, okay? <laughs> so, step aside. Yeah, just like a lawyer. Yeah. 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 Welcome, everybody. Again, I go by Hammer. I retired uh, last year after 37 years, finished up at Pacific Command. You know, in that life, I was dealing with a guy named KJU, South Carolina Sea, and all those kind of things. I came back home. They wanted me in D.C., but I'm from Florida, and I wanted to stay in my state and help my veterans. Okay, so when they invited me to go to D.C., I said, no, thank you, because my mother was born in West Palm Beach. My uncle lives in Loxahatchee. I used to go fishing out here at the fish camp, at my grandparents' fish camp. Now it's all developed. There used to be a fish camp right out here. All right, so I know this part of Florida. I'm a bracket of the state, and that's why I'm here. And that's why when Danny and the governor asked me to uh, join FEBA, I said yes, because I, I care about our veterans. So being the Marine that I am, prior listed, all right, so I made sure my Sergeant Major Sal dressed properly this morning, um, and that's my 27-year-old son. Um, I just want to make sure that we understand the ground rules what we have. We have about 50 people here today. And what you brought is your opinions, your ideas, your problems, and your solutions. That's what we're going to leave here at 1600. Okay, Air Force, that's 4 o'clock. All right. <laughs> we're going to leave here at 4 o'clock, 1600 this afternoon. That's my instinct, is trying to make, get you out of here on time, because you gave us your time today. And we want to keep on schedule. So there's five functional areas that we have. And we've asked you to break out into those ideas and bring your thoughts, your solutions, what is working well, best practices in that functional area. As well, though, what we really need to also know is what are the gaps? Where are the problems? Because we've done this across the state. As Danny said, we started in Tampa at the end of April. 
We went to Pensacola about three weeks ago now. Then we were in uh, Jacksonville just last week. It's been a flurry. We're here today. So we've actually had four different locations. We're halfway through our assessment, statewide assessment of best practices and gaps. As Danny said, that will be put together in a white paper report to the governor, the cabinet, and the legislative session that goes in this fall, starting in September, the committee weeks, to know where we spend our taxpayer dollars in the state in support of our veterans. Again, reinforce success with dollars, but also fill the holes where someone's not getting what they need. You are going to help us understand this part of Florida, what's happening. All right? After this, we're going to be in Ocala next week. We're going to be in Miami after that, Cape Canaveral, and then Sarasota. That's the rest of our schedule. All going to wrap up by the end of next month. Same exact thing that happens here today is happening in all eight of those locations. Collate all that together and put it into a paper. So the five functional areas that we have are transitions. That group will stay right here. So you got it easiest. You don't have to transition. You're going to transition. Group. You're going to stay right here. The other four breakout groups are upstairs, literally right above us on this wing. Elevators right down here by the, the, the heads, army latrines. I'm having to do the joint thing here, okay? <laughs> so by the restrooms, just take the elevator or the stairs upstairs. So transition stay here with Jerry Sinemaki from Veterans Florida. This is Jeremy. Okay, he'll be your he'll be your functional lead. He'll take notes. When these five groups get back together, and that's gonna be at 15:30, 3:30, so two hours from now, we'll be back in here, and I'll ask each of the five functional leads to back brief to the whole group were the top three things. I'm a Marine, I, can only get, I can't get to four. So we're gonna go with top three things of what that group has as an issue. Then everybody's aware of that. Not a lot of depth, five minutes, no more than five minutes. Okay, so just let us know what was the most important three things you talked about in your group for those two hours. And then we'll all have that as we come out. Second group is gonna be community service, led by Al Carter, our chief of staff of FDVA. Al, right there. Okay, you're gonna be upstairs in room 201. And he'll be transitioning you in there as you get up there. Next will be mental health and wellness with Deborah Harris from the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay. Deborah's right here in the middle. You're going to be in room 202, right beside the, uh, the community service. Literally, almost right above us, will be benefits. That'll be Rusty Keeling. He's the outreach coordinator back in the back, back there from FDBA. He'll be leading that group for benefits. And then finally, we have legal and veteran treatment support. We'll be in room 204 with Linda Williams. Linda's sitting in the very back row right back here. She's working with our general counsel for FDBA, and she'll be putting those ideas together. Okay? So you may be in a transition here. You may be in the one of the functional areas, and you know a lot about something else. That's fine. Okay? So when you come back and you do the top three things, if there's something you think, well, they, they totally missed it, then just let us know before you leave today. All right? We'll write it down, because it's our responsibility for the governor, the cabinet, and the state to pull this information together. Please be back in here, please. I will be going around checking on the rooms. Need y'all back here in two hours, ready to go for the back briefs. Again, five minutes each for five groups. And then sharing those top three issues. There's the table outside, there's some FDBA takeaways items. Please take those with you so that our staff doesn't have to load them back up and carry them back over to Fargo, right? There's also water and soda in the back on the table back there. Grab those before you go upstairs. Again, when I cut you loose here, your two hours is your time. What you do is on in each of those five groups. And then we'll be back together here. Also, we're going to have a poster. It's outside, or it's actually in the back corner right back here. There's a poster in the back corner. We want everybody to sign it. Put something on there that you participated today. We've done that in each one of our groups. Okay? The one that we kicked off in Tampa has close to 200 signatures on it, including the governors, the first lady, the cabinet. Okay? To us, this shows a visual representation that people in Florida are committed to helping our veterans. It's not a binding contract, okay? My legal counsel said I can't say that, right? But it is something that tells us that you care and that you want to be a part of this. So just put your name on it, whatever you want to put, put on there. And then we're going to bring it back. Yes, ma'am. So I understand there's just five groups. How do you know what group you're in? You should know which group you're in already. Uh, she's, you uh, don't know. she's a national guard rep. We put her in transition. Ah, uh, you're in transition. Are we transition? Yes. Uh, yes. Sorry. Yeah. We did have people that weren't on our. Uh, Somebody should have said also. This was by name invitation. You know, we didn't. We didn't open this to the public. Okay, we picked you because of who you are and what you represent and what you're doing for veterans and services support. So you're by name invited. We did have some other people that are coming in place of people. So forgive me, but yeah, we, we have people here. And if, if you're in one of those areas and you haven't been assigned to table or a group and 
you know that this is, that's my baby room. That's my, my wheelhouse. Go to that room. Okay, we won't keep you out. All right, any other questions before we break? All right, cool. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you all back here at 1530. Honestly, I'm fine with it.